Well, keeping up with the cracking pace of new technology is getting harder and harder. But for a sneak peek of what will be hot in 2012, I'm joined by leading futurist and best-selling author Ross Dawson. A very good morning to you, Ross. Good morning. Well, Ross, Facebook and Twitter, they're going great guns. Tell me, what could possibly be next in the social media for 2012? Well, Australians have been for a couple of years now the number one users of social networks in the world, and I don't think that's going to... Uh, uh, go away. So one of the things is that Facebook and Twitter will continue to rise and rise. Google Plus, the uh, Google social network, is likely to continue to rise. We have Tumblr, which is what's called a mini blog, and that's halfway between a Twitter or micro blog and a normal blog, and people are using that to uh, share things a lot. The hottest thing right now in social media is called Pinterest, and that's a pin board where you can go and pin, pin up little pictures of the things which you like. So these things are, are rising. But the thing, if we're looking at social media coming forward, the big single thing is that social media is not going to be just a plaything for mm. uh, sharing photographs and meeting up. It will be moved to the center of how companies work, of how governments interact with citizens, about how people we find jobs. Uh, this is really moving to the center of our world. Tell you what, it gets tough to keep up sometimes, but have you got um, any new gadgets that are going to be out in the market? Uh, there's, I think there'll be all, uh, lots of wonderful things coming. It's a wonderful time for anybody that loves technology. Well, one of the things which I think is just about to get some real traction uh, is video glasses and augmented reality glasses. And these are glasses which uh, look nice and uh, feel nice. And what you can do is when you're sitting on the bus or on a bench or at home, you sit to watch essentially full screen video on your glasses. Uh, or uh, the augmented reality version is when you can look at the world around you and to see, for example, the names of things which you've got or the ratings of restaurants that you're looking at or even the, the names of people uh, who are passing by is the, the next version of the technology. Mm -hmm. So video glasses, I think, are a big thing. Series, uh, which Apple's voice recognition technology has basically given us the expectation that uh, computers will obey our every command. And that's going to move into homes, it's going to move into cars, and so we will see more and more ability to just speak, and mm -hmm. our computers will obey. Well, Ross, the thing the that, big, yeah? Sorry, I was just going to say, the, the thing that I think of about 2012 is, of course, the film. And according to the Mayan calendar, the world is going to end next year. Can you shed any light on that for us? <laughs> well... It's a, it's a long time, actually, that many people, not just the ancient Mayans, but uh, also people looking at uh, technology changes, point to 2012 as a year of transformation or apocalypse. Now, I think it's probably pretty safe to say that the world isn't going to end in 2012, but I believe that this is going to be a, a year in which we will wake up at the end of it and think, wow, we are now living in different times. The pace of yeah. technological change and the pace of social change, which I think is as much as technological change, means that we are really moving into a new era. And it's going to be pretty hard to deny that we are living in very different times. So 2012, well, I think, is a year of transformation. Well, I think it's going to be a very exciting year. Ross Dawson, thank you very much for joining us this morning. My pleasure.